athletes, Team Fox Business is back, and we are here to run, swim, and walk you through the Panasonic New York City Triathlon. Let's start with Saturday, and remember, you're not racing on Saturday, but you have to check your bike into your transition area on Saturday. Mark your clocks 2 to 9 p.m. You're either red, yellow. You will know which one you're in. And when you get there, we highly recommend you bring all of your gear to transition on Saturday. We're talking about shoes, towels, all of your Scooby snacks, hairbrush, hat, <laughs> water fuel, all of the fun stuff. Get it all in there and bring whatever will keep you comfortable and confident and calm, that's the most important thing. Remember, the only bags that are allowed in those transition areas are these clear Fox Business plastic bags. They are very strong. They hold a lot more than they look. These are the ones that are approved. All right, guys, remember, now it is Sunday, and it is race morning. And if you want to take a peek at your stuff and transition just one more time, that is no problem. Be sure to give yourself extra time, though. Otherwise, time to grab your wetsuit and head on up to the swim start. <laughs> and don't forget your swim cap. It's got that fancy, pretty fancy Fox Business logo right on top. It's going to be right on your head. And then it's time to jump into the Hudson. Now, this is a time trial <laughs> start. So swimmers, you're going to be entering the water really fast. Look out for signs with your age group and, of course, the caps. These will help you with the colors. Take your time heading down the ramp onto the swim start platform and don't worry about the Hudson. Super fast river. The current is going to make you swim your personal best. And also, I recommend popping up your head every once in a while. Make sure that you're swimming on course and that you're of course headed in the right direction and new jersey is not the right no. direction no no head away right. from new jersey or okay bridge. on to the bike and here it goes so you're in transition once you get out of the swim and remember when you leave your bike in transition on saturday this is crucial leave it in the easiest gear why there is a quick uphill climb just at the start of the bike route out of transition what does that mean you don't want to be stuck in a heavy gear i, I don't want to make too big of a deal of this we've both been through it a lot people <laughs> yeah. make you panic about it. it's not that big of a deal but again keep it in that low easy easy gear because you're off for the scenic 40k route up and down the henry hudson highway don't worry no cars it'll be closed that day and we have some tips try to maintain a straight riding line ride on the right pass on the left you can say on your left and then of course when you hit the two u-turns go very slowly yes. And you know what might help, too? And Cheryl does this as well. Yeah. You leave your glasses inside your helmet because when you get out of the swim, you're a little vermished. You're a little panicked, <laughs> right? You, know, you, got the, you got that Hudson mustache, which is really attractive. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You're, you're confused. You get in there. You grab your helmet. Make sure your, your sunglasses are there, and it'll really help. And you can get on the ride and go. Exactly. Now, of course, last but certainly not least is the 6.2-mile run through NYC's iconic Central Park. Here we go. It's going to be hot, guys. Remember, your main objectives are be to relax, take your time. Also, remember, your legs are going to feel like lead after being on the bike for 26 miles. Get into a rhythm and just enjoy it. This is truly one of the most amazing races in the world. You're going to love it. Yeah, and the crowds along the park and the whole route, yeah. they really want you to do well. It's so exciting. So now, get back to training and watching the Fox Business Network. Otherwise, we'll see you in Hudson. See you there. Bye, guys. Bye now.